Right on. Okay, here we go, guys. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go! All right. So, to first to start off. All right, we got Teeks' audio. Teeks' audio is pretty good. We're looking pretty good. All right. So, first to start off, they have not used any inventory stars or deaths, either of them. Uh, let me just double check uh, Calco's audio. Ooh, his sounds pretty, pretty spicy. So, we're going to use Calco's audio right now. Hopefully he doesn't have any slip-ups, and hopefully his internet doesn't cut out. If you guys remember from last tournament match, uh, his internet had a, a, a splash fell and scraped its knee, so we don't have to worry about that. So the first point in this tournament, in World 1, is the MFP Tunnel. You want to get the Tunnel Jump, so you are awarded 0.5. So right now it looks like Calco did not get early P-Speed in... 1-2, uh, which is perfectly fine. It's such a troll P-Speed that nobody cares about it. So Teeks does have the lead in time, but like I said before, a lot of us have seen big, big turns. This this could be anyone's game. We've seen some people die in World 1 and have come back. So, oh, Teeks not getting early P-Speed. Oh, he's doing his turn backs. Oh, Teeks is like a washing machine right now. Left and right, man, that's all he's doing. Calco gaining some good time on Teeks right there. Teeks, the washing machine. Not making it work. But hey, he's still in the lead of time, so he's still doing pretty good. Still doing pretty good. All right, Teeks is going to be the first one for the tunnel. Everyone keep your eyes on Teeks' screen. I'm right there for you, Teeks. Come on. If I don't click this, I don't know, man. You practiced it. You know it. You know it. Oh, he doesn't get it. Does Calco get it? Calco messes up. Neither of them gets the tunnel. But well, that's okay, they did not take damage, so they're not gonna have a slower. Calco has two stars, is he going to get the fanfare? Oh, he does a big turn back to not get the fanfare. You love to see the no fanfares, guys. You love to see it, but do you know what? You hate to see no tunnel, so. And it looks like they're both getting um, pretty standard um, lucky but not lucky RNG in World 1. As long as you don't fight the Hammer Brother before this level, uh, you're in pretty good stance with the, the, the fire kill on the boss. If you fight the Hammer Brother before this level, you will get a different fire kill and it won't be... Um, you know, it's not like it's harder, it's just a different kill. Uh, this kind of fire kill is the easiest. Calco getting a little time save on Teeks right here. Oh, never mind, I take it back. Oh my gosh, there's no point in delaying. That's crazy, man, that's scary. Alright. This race is looking pretty good right now. It's looking pretty good so far. Love to see it right now. So they are tied in points. Anyone's game. There's two games tonight though, guys. Two games tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me just, uh, while I have time here, I'm gonna go ahead and move the timers a little bit. We've seen before in the past that uh, sometimes these streamers have their timers set up in a way where it cuts off the hour and squishes the minutes, but it looks like we're gonna be doing pretty good here. And just remember guys, this stream is sponsored by no one because advertisement sucks. That's right, we're here. It's just me. Uh, also, for anyone wondering, I'm the host and commentator, Mitch Flower Power. I'm sure you guys have heard of me. If not, what up? How you guys doing? So they're both gonna get the same fire pattern. They're gonna do the double shots. Uh, this pattern, you don't have to stomp on the boss. Like as you saw Calco do. So Calco did actually save a little bit of time on Teeks right there. Alright. So we're coming up to World 2. So the next point that they can get is a 292 in the pipe in 2-2. Two two. And you gotta hope that they don't fall they do not fall into the mode of tears. The moat of tears. The moat that just constantly filled up by sad tears. So we'll see how it goes. Most runners have made really, really good work with 2-1. So hopefully these guys uh, keep us proud and don't let us down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Kako with a couple turn backs. Teeks making good work on the purple ledges. Don't know what those are. Purple walls, purple platforms. All right, Teeks getting a mushroom. That's gonna be really good for him. Calco, two stars again. Calco is the only one right now who cuts it so close. Teeks getting good RNG with the Hammer Brother, and so does Calco, man. You wanna see the Hammer Brother run to the left there. All right, here we go, 297. 
296 as Teak's been practicing. 295 looks like he might be going a little too slow here. He is going too slow. Calco with the 295, 294. 293, Teak's got to do a full big jump. He didn't do a full big jump to keep his time going. Neither of them actually get the points. Dang, you hate to see it, man. If uh, I think if Calco would have done a full big jump and stayed in the air, uh, it would have actually changed. But unfortunately, he did not get it. Uh, Teeks is in a very, very uncomfortable position. Not getting P-Speed. Does Calco get it? Neither of them get it. They got the same mistake. The exact same mistake happened with the side rub on the first dry bones. God, that is the worst. I've made that mistake many times in my day. Uh, let's see here. They're both looking pretty good. Yeah, Teeks, Teeks seems, it seems like Teeks' video is having some weird, um... Yeah, it's just like a little blurry. He might be, he might be using that GB USB too, you never know. Okay, is he gonna move left? Ah, that is some bad RNG. Whereas you can see Calco will not have to suffer from that. But Calco also not using the music box strategy from World 2. Which Teeks might even Teeks might want this hammer, brother. Regardless, he doesn't have to he doesn't have to run around the end of World 2 at all. So he can just get the music box and get the hell out of there. Uh, whereas Calco is going to be able to do that with better RNG. However, he doesn't have that safety music box. And we have seen that safety music box help out a lot in the past. A lot, a lot in the past. So hopefully this is We'll see. Ooh, he could have gotten post 2-3 early hammer right there, Calco could have. Let's see if Teeks gets post 2-3 early hammer. And he doesn't. He got a movement of one or two. I think it was a two. Down past the pyramid. However, the hammer brother with the warp whistle could have done a movement of two as well. That's what makes World 2 really annoying. Yo, making great work of the, the tornado there. I don't know about you guys, but I've been caught a couple times in my day by the tornado. Even as a speedrunner, I've been screwed over by that tornado a couple times. Not a lot, but it's been there. Uh, neither of them have taken any damage yet as well, which is good for their World 6 triple point, which is huge. Huge, huge points. You can see a little route divergence right here. Oh! Calco not getting the stars! This is why you always do a turn back for card number 2. As you can see, Teeks will always have card number 2 a different card. If not, panic. Panic happens. Um, so yeah, you can see a different route divergence. Calco went up to 2-4, which is faster, whereas Teeks had to go down to 2-5, getting the good RNG, which means they're both going to get the exact same uh, boss pattern, unless one of them takes damage in the pyramid. You got to hope that they don't. Hope that they don't. The pyramid is the hardest level in this world to do optimally without any mistakes, and you also have to worry about the hill getting stuck. Does he get stuck? He doesn't get stuck in the hill. That's good. Oh my gosh, he makes it through. Here goes Teeks. It's Teeks' turn. Does he get stuck in the hill? We call it Sticky Hill. No, he does not. It's very hard to get stuck in the hill, but when you get stuck in the hill, it's really annoying because it is RNG. You shouldn't even be able to clip in this tile set, but apparently this game doesn't care. Calco with the juicy lead right now. Actually, a very tight lead. More than an extra Hammer Brother lead right here. So we'll see how... We'll see how this turns out. Just a little bit more. He did get the advantage of doing 2-4 um, over 2-5. 2-4 is a little bit faster, so. Uh, but they both they both made the mistake, and they both pretty much had the same 2-2. Two -two, so uh, RNG seems like it's going to play a very interesting role in this race, like you guys. This is going to be very exciting. So from here, we have the next point with, with a 221 or higher on this boss. If you can get a 221 or higher on this boss, you will get the point five. So I'm I'm ready to issue some points, ladies and gentlemen. We have not been able to give any points. There's a point system tournament here. What's going on? We're waiting. Alright, so who's gonna be first? Calco is going to be first, right here. I'm not even gonna move. You know what? I'm gonna preemptively click it. I think he's gonna get the point. Let's see if he does. Don't let us down. I haven't preemptively clicked once in this entire tournament. That's how much faith. I have in Calco right now of getting this 221 or higher. You know what? I think Teeks is gonna get it too. So I th I'm gonna preemptively click on both of them. Don't make me unclick it. There, he got it. Yes, the faith, guys, the faith. Boom, right there. All right, Teeks. I'm not even gonna unclick. Easy for both of them. Look at that, right on, guys. 
See, I knew it. I had faith. I trusted. See what happens when you just put a little bit of trust in, you know? Just a wee little bit of trust. All right, so moving on to World 3. Calco is going to be the first one. Single frame jump. I'm not going to preemptively click any more in this race. That was a pretty ballsy move, and uh, I'm not doing it again. So here we go. First jump. Let's go. First frame jump. Oh, wrong button. But I think he presses A and B at the same time. Still gets the shot off, not the jump. Teeks, this is your chance. This is how you get the lead. Come on, get the lead. Oh, Teeks doesn't get it either. All right. So it looks like door three is the next point for these fine gentlemen. All right. Calco still maintaining that same lead. There's no time to be gained in 3-1 uh, for either of them. You guys can go ahead. You can count it out and see what kind of lead one has over the other. All right. Good RNG on Calco's side. Has to not worry about that early hammer. Or sorry, run away, bro. Oh, the early P-Speed. He nails it. That is very good. If one of your opponents does not hit this P-Speed, that is very damaging because you could you could take hit. Uh, you could go slow. Let's see if Teeks gets it. Teeks does get it. Calco gets the instant build as well. Ooh, very close. I don't even think Teeks won it. Oh, Teeks without a turn back. Flip flops. No. Oh, man. He nails it, dude. Very nice work on Teeks' side. Holy crap. That scared me, man, because that is a big, big turn in the race. Very well done on Teeks' side. You can tell he was nervous for that level, uh, but he wasn't doing turn backs, which is very interesting in my mind. You better safe than sorry with that level. Also, Teeks on the right side, not having to worry just yet about Runaway Bro. So hopefully he's pretty good. Looks like he's going to get enough coins in this level to not have 33. So he's pretty good on that side. Calco again getting good RNG, not having to worry about that Runaway. However, door three, here it goes. Here we go. Does he get it? Goes for door three. He gets door three. Holy crap. Door three for the .5 and the time lead. If Teeks does not get door three... He's going to lose some times, and Teeks is in the ultimate scare right now with Runaway Bro. So come on, Door 3. You need this of anything. If you get Runaway, this will help you a lot. Does he get Door 3? He does not get Door 3, so he does not get the point, and he gets the time loss. Big punishment, man. You hate to see it, guys. Take a drink. You hate to see it. Woo! All right, well... Luckily, through my recent discovery, I did realize why this level 3-4 uh, can screw you over with your fireball and that first Goomba. Allowing you to not get P-Speed is a very unfortunate thing. Does not happen to Calco. And it will not... Ha oh, Teeks! No! Teeks! I think maybe... Ooh, I don't know how this is going to work out for Teeks. He should not have gone for that because... Does he run back? Oh, man, this is very scary for Teeks right now. I think Teeks is going to have to do the auto-scroller uh, seven cloud little shenanigan things that you hate to see the whole thing. You just hate to see it all. All right, so the next point we have in store for us is the Wendy point. So we'll see how this goes. Does he run back? I really don't think he should have gone for that um, hammer down there. But, hey, this isn't my run, so who knows how these racers, how these racers work. So Teeks is going to have to opt out for a longer level, but he is going to get his cloud back. So I'm curious if he's going to do the fortress and wrap back around, uh, or if he's going to do... I guess it's going to depend on what the Hammer Brother does, right? Because he could skip this star. So this this would actually help him just a little bit. Let's see what he does. Ah, this is good. Okay, Teeks has an option to skip this Hammer Brother. A very good option here. If the Hammer Brother moves up and to the right or just up and out of the way, Teeks is safe. However, if the Hammer Brother does a movement of two onto the level nine, then Teeks is unfortunately screwed over. So... He has a high chance to get lucky, but this is SMB3, and you guys know what happens when you have a high chance of anything. It means a high chance of getting screwed over. That's what it means. So hopefully. Uh, it may look like that Teeks is behind by a lot, um, but Teeks is actually not. He does have to do the extra level here, but he has the 
the, the cloud. Uh, he will have the cloud to use in world four or whatever world. So let's see. He does not get screwed over. He is all right. That is good. So he saves a little bit of time back here uh, by not having to do that hammer, brothers. So. Dude, the points match, man. The points match. Are these races not going to go at all the way anyone in chat thinks they're going to go? Ooh, Kalko a little stuck there on the uh, the screw. Or I, I mean, I guess, what is it, kind of the nut. Kalko stuck on the nut. Yes, yes, I said it. I said it. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see Kalko going for the 210 three ring Wendy kill. I don't, I do not think we're going to see it. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. Nah, don't blame him. He has not taken damage. He's two worlds, three worlds away from uh, big points. I don't know if Kalko's practice. I don't know if he's read over the points, but it looks like he's doing much better than last time. All right. Luckily, we had something to watch while Kalko was on the airship, and now Teek's being on the airship. Thank you very much, racers, for giving us things to watch while the other player is on the airship. Yes, Wendy gives points. You're lucky I saw that right before I exit chat. Wendy does give points. If you kill Wendy with exactly 210 on the timer with all three of her rings out, you do get 0.5. All right. Oh, Kalko! Kalko! Forgot how to use the A button. He goes for the fast P-Speed strategy. Is he gonna get it? He's gonna opt out for it, which is a very wise decision. He does not want to take damage. If he takes damage, that'll be very, very bad. He should have done the shell backup strategy, yet slower but more consistent. It seems like... It seems like the strategy of, uh, you know, the whole from start to the fast P-Speed seems like it's a rhythmic thing, so if you mess up the beginning, it might just... Cause you to screw up the whole thing, so hopefully he gets it. Goes for the despawn there, you have to kill the turtle shell at the same time as shooting it, or sorry, you jump off it at the same time as shooting it. For some reason it despawns that piranha plant. So you might be asking, why does every single runner kill that second turtle shell in 4-2? And that is actually to despawn. When you kill the turtle shell, he bounces up and to the right, and he hits the zone where uh, it goes to spawn. Two, four, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, he does not go for the kill. I wonder if he was thinking about it because of the way he was doing that. All right, Kalko in one of the most visually pleasing levels. Let's see if he gets it. Da -da 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 -da. All right, looking nice and smooth. Double bounce, duck jump, doesn't take damage. All right, all right, looking good. 55 coins, not gonna matter. You cannot get a coin ship in World 4. I repeat, you cannot get coin ships in World 4. It seems like the coin ships solely have something to do with the type of Hammer Brother you're fighting, not actually the world. It's very strange. Boomerang bros do not turn into coin ships. Giant bros do not turn into coin ships. Very interesting the way the coin ships work. All right, Teeks, you're here. You're in World 4. How are you going to make the magic happen? Uh-oh, Calco getting a marathon. Uh-oh. He could. He does. Does he? Oh my gosh! It looks like he's gonna get punished with the star, bro. Calco is getting the star, bro. He's got the P-Wing. Wow, what a turn. And he is forced to fight that star, bro. You hate to see it. Wow, they are back to being tied. Door three meant nothing because he got marathon star, bro. What? That is why I put it in the game. That is why I put it in the tournament, guys. Oh, Calco missing the jump there. I don't know if he pressed A to jump out of the pipe or not. Ooh, Teek's making good work with the 4-2, also using the despawn strategy. Hardcore meta. Kalko's gonna have to do the- is he gonna jump off him? Yes, he is. Medium jump with the- yeah, there it is. Is he gonna get sniped? He's worried about it. He does not get sniped. Teeks is feeling- oh no. Wait! If Teeks is gonna use the hammer and cloud right after this level- Ooh, I don't know how this is gonna work out. Teex is in a very, very uncomfortable position, whereas Kalko is not. He's just gotta go and do his levels. Missed his first A press on the level. Slight delay there, but you know, that only cost him a couple frames. I wonder if Kalko knows uh, movement of zero fire kill. I think he does. I think he does. It is the easiest fire kill on this boss, so we'll see. Turn back does not get the fanfare. I think when Kalko has the two stars and then Ooh, nice. Teeks making good work. 
Look at that. Very nicely. So it looks like Teeks should be uh, pretty safe. I think he's going to Music Box Cloud here. And then we're going to see what kind of lead Calco has. Oh, very nice. Music Box. Cloud. Screen scroll. What? I know I know it's the P-Wing, but this is incri- Oh, man. Holy crap. Wow! Oh, my gosh. Teeks with the- Big balls, that's all I can say. The big balls move, man. I would never in my entire life have made that gamble. But Teeks says, you know what? I think I'm losing. My world through my world three was trash. Holy crap, man. That was a big balls gamble. I would never have made that gamble. And he got a box this world four. Absolutely incredible. So Teeks is on a uh, He's on a good, ooh, not getting peace speed here. That is going to hurt him. Um, but he is on track of fighting no, I repeat, no Hammer Brothers in World 5. Um, the one bad thing about that is that is a lot of opportunities for movements of four. So, all right. They're both on the airship. Now, since, oh, Teeks, hold on. Let's see. I don't think anything weird is going to happen. Hopefully not. If he bumps, I might screw up his Hammer Brother. No, he's pretty good. All right. What's going on, chat? How are you liking this race so far? They are tied up right now. They are tied up. However, Calco is ahead in time. Uh, for anyone wondering, Calco did get a gold in World 3. Calco is ahead of his PB right now by 13.2 seconds. So Calco is on pace right now for a 51... 40 something. But however, he did get all Hammer Brothers in World 4, so he's going to lose time. You guys enjoying this race? Butt clenching, gambling paid off. I don't know how Teeks did that, man. He is crazy. Teeks doing those kind of gambles, man. That's incredible. No, yeah, the ass point is not popular this season. I don't blame them. Ah. <sighs> Drink count number six, right on. Is that how many times I said you ate? And I'm not gonna finish. What counts as no inventory stars? Not using any of your inventory stars. Oh, Calco does no, oh no! <gasps> Don't go right through him! Nice, dude, that is so scary. We have not seen anyone get screwed over by stomping on that boss this tournament. At least I don't think so. I I mean that is a, that is a strategy that people could use, right? Just use a star, get the ass point, and then you have free range for all the stars. It's like two points evening out, and then opens up the usage of stars. But the stars aren't gonna help. All right, chat is closed. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys, during the long auto scrollers. I hope you guys are enjoying the race, and we are back. Calco is gonna start with five one, one of the scariest levels to take damage. He is one world away from juicy points, and so is Teeks. So is Teeks. All right, Calco making good work, not taking damage, not messing up his jumps. Getting some good shots. Teeks getting the fire kill. He's going to save. Oh my gosh, Calco almost taking damage there. These guys are crazy right now. This is incredible. Right on, right in there. All right, here we go. No shaft of despair. The shaft of depression. He did rub the wall of the shaft though, so that was interesting. Alright, go for the P-Speed. Leg kicking strategies. Alright. So Calco does have his, his music box here because he got screwed over. And so does Teeks, so... We're gonna have to hope for no movements of four from either of them. So hopefully it works out. No movements of four, and you guys are good to go. Calco looks like he is not getting a movement of four. If he has had a movement of four so far, we would see the Hammer Brother behind the castle. Te Calco not using the music box here, which means... So if Calco used the music box after this level, that means he wasted um, a potential movement of one. You need to use it before this fort to actually get one usage out of it. Because the Twisty Castle uses one of your usages. That's right, usages. And then if he, and then after he uses it, he goes straight into, let's see what he does here. Yes, he wasted a, he wasted a, um, a music box usage. 
That's okay. The Hammer Brothers didn't move. Oh no. Oh my gosh. If you don't have peace, what's his backup? What's his backup right here? He knew, man. He's. You could tell he's made that mistake before. Oh, he's opted for the peace speed. I think that's actually a pretty good idea. Boom. Teeks using the music box here, which means he does not waste the usage. However, T Calco is getting all movements of one, so it might actually not be a waste of a usage. Almost taking damage from that thwomp, making good work of it. All right. Ooh, Teeks with the 22 coin count. Very scary, uh, but I don't think he's going to get a coin ship here. It's not possible. Oh, he's all right. All right, Calco through the Twisty Castle. Oh, he did get a movement of four! Oh, shit, I told you guys, if he did get a movement of four, he would be by the castle with all the movements of twos and ones. So Calco not only got a movement of four, point taken away from him, but he also wasted a music box. Teeks is definitely going to be catching up, taking this spot safe as well. Does he get a P-Speed? He does get a P-Speed back, so he is pretty good. He is definitely doing this world a little bit faster than Calco so far. He is going to be getting a lead here. You hate to see it. Kako with the 5-5, five, five, one of the harder levels to get P-Speed and keep it. All right, he's good. Making good, good work of it. Teeks losing his P-Speed. That's okay, though. That's okay. So it looks like Teeks is about two levels behind. Ooh, up pipes, man. You hate to see them. However, Teeks has the point advantage right now. <clears throat> and every movement of forward Kako gets, that's more time for Teeks to save. I highly doubt we're going to see any of the game-breaking Jesus clips today, guys. Ooh, Calco missing that. Is he going to get sniped, though? He does not get sniped. Dude, anytime you make a mistake with that Lakitu, man, that is ooh, such a nightmare. All right. Oh, Teeks with the movement of four, not getting the points. Ouch. Calco with another movement of four. Teeks get also getting P-Speed, and Calco not going for Jesus clip. I do not blame them, man. Very scary. <clears throat> looking at Teeks' screen is like looking through the uh, drunk goggles from The Simpsons. All right. It's looking good though. All right. Teeks' hammer brother moves out, which is pretty good because Teeks does not want to fight this hammer brother. I hope he remembers. Also, if Teeks does fight this hammer brother, he needs to remember that he has a free passage in World 6. So hopefully, hammer if the hammer brother moves up, Teeks is safe. Is safe. All right, let's see what happens on Teeks' side. Fingers crossed. Wow, this is the first time I've seen Boxless actually actually succeed all the way to World Five, right? Because if you get Boxless in World Four, that doesn't mean anything until you skip the Hammer Brother with the Music Box in World Five. So Teeks got pretty good there. Uh, Calco does want to fight this Hammer Brother, however. He did fight it in a position where he does get a very easy boss kill, so... You can actually see how much time Teeks is caught up uh, in World 5, which is pretty good. Neither of them get the bonus point in World 4. Uh, neither of them got Jesus Clip, but neither of them fell down the shaft, so we're looking pretty good here. Uh, we got Kako on the airship, so just hold on one second here. Sorry about that, guys. I am back. Did you guys miss me? How's it going? I don't think I missed anything, did I? Nope, I didn't miss anything. I missed nothing. All right, here we go. So Calco should have a nice, comfortable, clean fire kill here. Uh, based on his position, it's like he's just gonna shoot and rub the wall and shoot. Calco knows, but he didn't want to take the chance there. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not many off-screen wand grab attempts here, so we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Teeks, um, 
Teeks is going to have a movement of one or a movement of two battle no matter what. So, and uh, I know Teeks knows these fire kills, but they seem like he's been not interested in the fire kill when it doesn't work out in his favor, like movement of one or movement of two. Uh, he tends to opt out. So let's see what he does here. He's got to not take damage. I wouldn't even worry. Yeah, he's not even going to worry about it. I don't blame him. They are both on a one-way path. They are very close to three points. The only thing standing between them is a janky Hammer Brother battle, which let's hope doesn't happen to him. All right, good inventory. If you accidentally equip that P-Wing, you would not get the original power-up points. Let me remind you, you would not have gotten it. <clears throat> oh! Okay, that is bad and bad. That's just bad altogether. So that eliminate the space in between them. Calco getting the big juicy pop of points right there. Right on, man. You love to see a big juicy points. Calco is already ahead of his average points per game right now. Oh, no. With the death, loses the points. Never mind. He is not above his average points anymore. Holy crap. He's gonna have to continue with the elevator right here, which gives Teeks a very good chance to catch up. That death right there, you hate to see it. Calco, or sorry, Teeks coming in hot. He enters the level, boom, five points. He actually takes the lead unless, unless he slips, falls, scrapes his knee right here. Does it happen? You hate to see that. Let, ooh, the double left right right there. Let's see. Does he die? He does not die. He's very nervous. Small Mario. Super scary, guys. All right. He's doing pretty good. Calco with a movement of four. How? What? Maybe that was just a movement of two? Oh, I see. No, it was a movement of two. Okay, I see what happened there. Yeah, that was random as heck, man. All right, Teeks has, has Teeks has a much better. Ooh, Calco with the uh, five frame save. They are both in the same level. Teeks does not get early P speed, although he is safe though. He he knows how to do this level. Wow, this race is really close. All right, looks like Calco. Oh, he goes for the fast kill. Almost, he's got nothing to lose, right? If he dies, whatever, whatever. He's already died. This is crazy right now. Oh, he's gonna have to fight both rows. Both Hammer Brothers switch. Wow, if the Hammer Brother moves up. If the Hammer Brother that we can see on Teeks' screen moves up, Teeks' is safe passage, which means Teeks had incredible Hammer Brother RNG, except for World 3, of course, and World 2. So World 2 and 3 did not work for Teeks, but the, all the other worlds have worked for him in terms of RNG. That crazy gamble he took in World 4 is incredible. Oh my gosh, how does Calco do the despawn there? That's so strange, man. I, I never see that one working. Let's see. Oh! Teeks is safe passage. Does this mean Teeks just took the lead? Let's find out. We have nothing. We have screen transition. Oh my gosh. This is so close right now. Very close. I, however, Teeks is going to be suffering from movements of one and two, whereas Calco is not going to be. Oh. Is he going to get P speed? He does get P speed. It's going to be very close for Teeks. He just makes it up, takes his damage, loses- Oh my gosh, he almost died right there! That lip right there is the worst. Nice save on Teeks' side. Very scared right now. I don't know if Teeks thinks he's behind or not. He had a chance to get a good lead there. I'm sure the commentator has- has something on the way here. I'm sure it's happening. It's Sunday night. Sometimes, sometimes takeout's good for the Sunday night, you know? All right, nice H jump. He's not opting, which he has the extra P-Wing, so he is not opting for the wall jump. This is a chance for Teeks to gain an additional lead here if he does take damage, which he does take damage. So this is gonna secure, if Teeks loses in time, this is gonna secure his thing. Uh, it looks to me like Teeks has been working on uh, sub-pixel manipulation. He did exactly uh, what you need to do. So let's see if he gets wall jump first try. Ah, oh, he just stuck in the sub pixel. So he could have screwed up. Oh, second try, man. He's second try wonder. Hopefully he does not get the, okay. He does not get the fanfare. All right. <clears throat> Calco, no, he didn't use the P-Wing. All right, let's see here. Clip three, does Calco get it? 
Holy crap, every time, man, I think someone gets it. Is Teeks gonna get the mushroom and try for it? I wouldn't blame him, those are heavy points. Oh yeah, this turned into the meta halfway through the tournament. Runners were not using uh, this. Ooh, watch out for P-Speed. You can rebuild it though. Small jump. He does get P-Speed. Does he go for the clip and does he get it? Ah, he does not get it. <sighs> Unfortunately, Teeks is losing time just left and right in this world. Uh, getting the good RNG has not helped him. Ooh, see, missing the door, missing the jump, not helping him here. All right. Calco is out of this world, and Teeks is following up out of this world. It's going to be very interesting. All right, this is amazing right now. As, you know, as long as they're both in this area, man, 7-7, seven, seven, right? 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, however, Teeks, it, Teeks does have a very comfortable lead, even if he loses in time. That death is what costs him, right? You might think, oh, but Calco did so good, he won the race, but he did die. So what is the more punishable thing? Dying in a race or losing in time? I, I mean, if the race was strictly on time, I mean, obviously being punished for losing it, uh, winning with time is like kind of annoying, but this isn't. This is the warpless point system tournament, not the time system tournament. So, and we have world seven coming up, which world seven is absolutely crazy. I'm very excited here. Very, very excited. Alright, here's the first one. If we see Calco move one pixel to the right, he is set up for sub-pixel manipulation. Let's see what he does right here. There you go, he moved one pixel. Oh my gosh, he totally... I wonder if he's moving one pixel to the right and then trying to move to sub-pixel 14 or 15, which I think is very dangerous. He definitely moved one pixel and then continued to move. Let's go ahead and see what Teeks does. Because there's a lot of different kind of manipulations going around. I have no idea what Teeks did there. He did not move one pixel to the right, and he certainly did not move one pixel to the left, so... Um, you have to remember, it's very confusing when Mario moves his feet but doesn't move a pixel. You can get you baited. Alright, Calco, first try. Is he gonna go for it? Let's see what he gets. Oh! The worst one of them all. When that happens, that is the worst. You don't even get the opportunity. You don't even know. But he does get it. About fourth try, I think it was. It wasn't first try, so we don't care. Alright, Teeks. Your weird setup that I don't, I don't know what pixel you're on. But let's go ahead and take a look. Let's see what he gets. Oh, same thing. They both miss it. But he gets a second try, which means he gains a bunch of time back. Let's go ahead and see. Calco is going to use his P-Wing. But is Calco going to do fast or slow P-Wing strategies? He looks like he is going to be able to do the fast strategy. That is actually a little bit slower. Uh, but let's go ahead. Hopefully, Teeks has cleaned up his... Uh, his 7-2 P-Speed strategies from before. Let's, I really hope he's cleaned them up. Let's see. Before they were a little slow. Let's see what happens. He did not clean them up. Ah, uh, that's okay though. That's okay. He's doing great, man. I, I still think it's great. It's just not. It, it could be a little. It could be a little cleaner. But it's okay. Ooh, does he get the right pixel drop? He does not, man. He must have been one pixel too far to the left. Calco going into the hardest level. Super Mario Brothers three. I wouldn't blame him if he handed it off to his little sister. All right, looking good. The time right here is crazy. All right, making good work of this. Boom, he is out of there. Now it's Teeks' turn. Uh, let's see if he hands it off to his little sister. Looks like both of them are giving it up. They need to They need to get a drink. Take a look at the bikini babes. See how it's going. All right, Cloud Pass, the fastest level, 7-4. You love to see it, looking good. Looking good. All right, use the P-Wing. So let's see if Calco knows the sub-pixel manipulation for this one, which is move one pixel to the right, then kind of move a little bit. One pixel to the right isn't good enough because sub-pixel value one, two don't work. You want to have three to 10. So you move one pixel to the right and then you move a little bit. He moves one pixel to the right and that looked like a heavy press. So I think, I think Calco is going to get this first try. That looked like a heavy right input. So let's go ahead and see. 
My finger's on the trigger right here for Calco. Does he get it? Kind of close the lead a little bit. He does get it first try. Holy crap. That is going to close the lead a little bit for Teeks. Teeks does. Oh, Teeks is right on it. Teeks, do not miss your input. You are on the right sub pixel. I'm going to click it for Teeks. Don't mess up the jump, Teeks. You are set up very nicely. Do not mess up this jump, please. Oh, he messed up the jump. No, he was on the right sub pixel. Calco now going for 7-7. Seven, seven. Dude, if he gets the first try, oh my gosh. He does not get a first try. Okay. So this could be it. All right, Teeks getting it. If Teeks goes into 7-7, seven, seven, smashes it first freaking try, he gets the lead. If they could watch each other, which they're not allowed to, Teeks would know to not go for 7-7 seven, seven because he would get the lead if he didn't. But they're not allowed to watch their, their opponents. And that is exactly why, because... 7-7 seven, seven is not worth it right now if he takes the lead, so he is gonna go for it. He is now pretty much caught up. Right on. Looking good. Alright, looks like they are doing nothing at all. <laughs> the Oh, Teeks gets it first with the point. Teeks gets the point. And he took the lead from 7-7. Seven, seven. You don't always have to go for 7-7, seven, seven, ladies and gentlemen. You don't always have to go for 7-7. Seven, seven. All right, come on, Calco. Oh, Teeks flip-flopping right now. Oh my gosh. Imagine Teeks got that Fire Flower. What do you guys think? If Teeks got that Fire Flower, took damage, and then got the Fire Flower at the end of the level, would that have been allowed? That is the question. Seven, seven. All right, here we go, Teeks. Another 1.5. Third and fourth. First try. Oh my gosh, does he get it? Oh, man, that... Oh my gosh, that... Oh, and he gets a second try. Good time save, but you hate to see it. Calco is just not making work. A lot of his jumps are just a little too short and a little too far. Teeks almost just got an additional. Calco has to opt out of this... Teeks is gonna use Music Box, Cloud, and he is out of here. If Teeks gets, or sorry, if Calco gets the 7-9 uh, clip, this will be really good. Uh, hold on one second, guys. I will be right back. We have Teeks on the airship, so we have time to spare. Hold on a sec. I will be right back. Okay, hold on. I had to come back. I cannot leave you guys hanging for these points. Okay, let's see if Cal if Calco gets third and fourth try clip first try. That will be a crazy equalizer right there. Okay, here it is. Here it is. My finger's right there. Oh my gosh! No! The duck input! Dude! Oh my gosh, the duck input. You really, really hate to see it. We've had a couple people get the 7-9 so far in the tournament, which has been crazy. He needed those points. He almost got it, man. The duck input. Holy crap. All right, I'll be right back. Thank you. 
Mmm. I saw that John diaper. Um, no, I'm just scarfing. I'm just scarfing down my dinner really fast. I did see it. You see how important that duck input was for Calco. Okay. Calco losing that duck input was actually crazy because if he would have got that clip, oh my gosh! And I saw that he took damage, so Calco does not get the original power up. And Teeks, obviously, Big Mario on the airship here. Not going to get that point either. I saw that. He got stunned. He could not be happy about that. He could not be happy about that at all. Um, so since we're on airships again, auto scrollers, I'm just going to uh, take a couple extra bites. We will be looking out for Wranglis that Teeks cannot get. So we are, we are solid for a couple minutes here. Right, here we go. <clears throat> I am back. So it looks like Teeks is the first up for the hands right now. So good luck. Good luck, Teeks, on the no hands. Right here, bud. Right here. I'm right there to give you the point, man. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> Teeks is the no hands master. Two no hands in one day. Never before seen. He's done it. Let's go. Does he get it again? 99.9% .9 chance to get pulled in by that hand. Not actually, it's a 50-50 to get pulled in by each hand. <clears throat> However, I will say, it looks like Calco's very far behind, but Calco still has his cloud. If Calco would have just used his cloud and got the heck out of World 7, he wouldn't have actually taken damage. Does he get Wrangless? Oh, so close to Wrangless, man. You hate to see it. Right, Teak's only getting one hand, which is actually pretty good. That probably makes him pretty happy. Not using any inventory stars. Wish you luck. However, you've already taken damage, Teak, so take it slow, right? 
Just don't die. If he dies, this could really, really hurt his chances to take this win here. All right. Kalko's turn up to the hands. Let's see how Kalko does against the hands. <clears throat> if he gets none, that'll be pretty good. Oh, Teeks, we have seen that the Sand of Shame is a good thing to do if you're feeling good. So he must not be feeling good. Let's go. He's doing pretty good. Kalko also getting the first hand. You hate to see it. Teeks not getting screwed over by the sun, which is good. Hopefully they both only get hand number one. No cloud for Teeks. Also not using a star. He's going to have to take this pretty slow. Again, if he takes damage, no big deal. Kalko getting hand number three, which is the worst because it's just annoying cheap cheeps. Although it's fun for P-Speed. I feel like hand number three is like a playback from like SMB1, the cheap cheap bridges. All right. <clears throat> He's making really good work of this fortress. Kalko bumping, bumping and bipping on the overworld map. Yeah, Kalko did lose a very large amount of time due to uh, the 7-7. Seven, seven. Very unfortunate. All right, so the only things left right now is uh, the clip in Bowser's Castle. They both have lost their original power-up, and that is all that's left for them. Yo, that is dope. Both runners did fast P-Speed in 8-1. Uh, which is actually very difficult. Alright, Teeks is gonna be the first one at the clip. Does he get it? Kalko also not going for the Sand of Shame. Dude, man, these runners have killed this race. Alright, Teeks. Add it to your overall point average. Come on, buddy. Oh, he didn't, he's not even going for it. Teeks has had a very, very... Ooh, Kalko getting screwed over. Teeks has had a very, very uncomfortable Bowser Castle the last couple days, I feel like. I feel like he, Bowser's Castle... Ooh, can he get the sub-54, though? <gasps> Kalko lost his power-up, which means he cannot... Ouch, dude. He cannot fire kill Bowser. Oh, Teeks is here. Here goes Teeks, man. Does he get the sub-54? Holy crap, Teeks. Teeks needs to make, make sure he stops his timer. What is his time? Let me write it in. A 53... 53-58! Right on! 53-58! Wow! Alright, Teeks! He got first place sub-60 and sub-40. 10 points for Teeks. Wow! Wow, guys. That's crazy. Looks like Teeks has taken game one. Teeks has definitely taken game one. All right, Kalko's up next. Kalko can still get a clip and help his average points per game.
Here we go. Does he get the elevator clip? Come on, buddy. You need it. Oh, the elevator clip strikes again, dude. You hate to see it. <gasps> Don't die. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on, Donut. What the heck? There we go. All right. Nice, nice. He's in there. Looking good. All right. We're going to have to go with the old school Bowser fire kill. Last hit. Here we go. Come on, Bowser. Perish. Yo, he does it all while keeping his power up. Looking good. All right. Calco's time is going to be a 56. 56. What is the question? Fifty-six twenty-nine. Nope. 56. 30. With a total amount of points of, let's see, second place and sub 60. With six points. Better than his actual average from before. Right on, guys. Right on. Teeks having annoying internet issues. It's like raining SMB3. All right. What the heck's going on, Teeks? Hey, I got chat open. What's going on, guys? How was that race, guys? Did you guys enjoy that one? I think that was a pretty good semifinals race. Only a four point difference right now. Bitch, what's going on, guys? <clears throat> Did I just see Teeks press play? Does Teeks have pre recorded runs right now for this race? I don't know about you guys. Did you guys just see a play icon on Teeks' video? Yo, Mr. Diaper, what's up? <laughs> the interviews, it's not over yet. They still have race two. <clears throat> They're just taking a couple minute break. Round two, semifinals. Someone is winning money tonight. Okay. Three, two, one, go! All right, let's go, baby, let's go. All right, so both both racers. Both racers have not used the star inventory and they both have not died. The first point that they are looking for right now is the MFP tunnel. If they nail the MFP tunnel, they are good to go. Ooh, Calco doing a little slip up right there, but it's fine. It's fine. We got lots of time, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of time. All right, looking good. Looking good on both racers. You, you always hate to see, like, um, slip-ups at the beginning of races, right? Kind of like how I did my GDQ race. <laughs> All right. This is awesome, baby. Oh. Takes a little slip-up. They both have different cars. That's good. We have not seen a single fanfare yet. Ooh, Cal uh, Teeks with the fast P speed. All right. All 
Looking good, looking good. Yes, do not forget to press exclamation SMB3 if you want all the information revolving around this tournament. Looking good, looking good. All right, the first one at the tunnel is Teeks. Is Teeks going to get the tunnel? We're right here. Oh, Teeks gets it. Does Calco get it? Oh, Calco does not get it. But Teeks is happy right now. He is very happy. Very, very well done, man. Absolutely beautiful. You love to see that right there. All right, Teek's not getting the best of RNG. He's gonna get a questionable boss pattern here. Let's hope he's very comfortable with this boss pattern because if he's not, he might take damage. It is possible. This is the pattern that will cause anyone to screw up World 1 if they do. For the most part, people don't really mess up World 1 or the boss kill for that matter. But if they do, it's most likely caused because of this. All right, so Teeks has a solid... What, what does Teeks have a lead by right now? 4.5? So Kalko's really got to bust out all the stops here. Really, really got to bust out all the stops. For a second there, I thought the bullet bill on Teeks' side was going to flow over into Kalko's side. <laughs> yep. It's so weird to have two of the same levels that are auto-scrollers, like, side by side. Right? Because, like, watch Teeks' question block. You think it's when it goes off screen, it's going to go on Calco's side, but it doesn't. Really funny. Alright, here we go. Teeks is very comfortable with his fire kill. Alright, he is safe. Calico also getting a good fire kill. Look at this time right now, guys. They're only a couple seconds apart. Technically, based on their timers, uh, Calico is actually ahead. I don't think Teek started earlier, but I think there is a mild delay right now, which is okay. A mild delay is fine. There's not much you can do about a mild delay. <laughs> All right, very, very exciting. So, the next point that we're looking for is a 292 in the pipe in 2-2. So, looks like Teeks is going to be the first one there. Yeah, so it looks like Calco is actually in the lead right now. Um, and we can tell by the time that Teeks hits the card. But, uh, Calco could have just started late. No, no, they're, they're, no, they're, they're, they're fine. They're fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. Looks good. They pretty much they start at the same time. Looking good. All right. Here we go. 298, 297, 296. 295. Oh my god. Teeks, no! Does Calco get it? 294. 293. He's got a full big jump here. No, he doesn't get it. Ah, Teeks falling in the moat of tears. Costing him the lead. Is he going to get a fire flower here, though? That would be the worst. Dude, I thought that was a fire flower for sure. I was scared. Just the, the way his P meter was. Oh my god. Calco. Is Calco gonna get a random no death early hammer? Dude, we have not seen an early hammer in a while. Calco with a weird turn back there. Not getting P speed. Teeks does get P speed. Look at how much that P speed catches you up. Look at that, man. That is an incredible P speed strategy. You really need that P speed. If I say P speed one more time, P speed. All right, these guys are looking really good right now. Looking really, really hot. Boom, right in there. So let's see if Calco gets a very weird no death early hammer here. That would be uh, really messed up, man. That would be messed up. Here we go, let's see if he gets it. Oh, I thought it was. The Hammer Brother moved in the right position. Ha <laughs> ha that was so weird. So the Hammer Brother, the music box, did the right things for a no-death early hammer, but the other Hammer Brother, odd, you know, of course, the Hammer Brother with the hammer was, you know, not a good boy. Dun -dun 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 
All right, Calco in a weird position right here. Teeks, Teeks, okay, so this situation is interesting. Teeks' hammer brother is in the pyramid, which means he has a higher chance of being able to do a more optimal World 2 route, including 2-4, whereas Calco, if the hammer brother in the bottom right moves left right now, that is such an annoying situation. He will, ooh. Ouch, if Teeks goes up to level four, he might, oh, Calco, getting the good RNG, and Teeks is safe. Whoa, okay, so Teeks is actually gonna go uh, not only for the safe fanfare level, which is 2-5, but he's also gonna go for the music box again. He, uh, but he's not gonna get boxless this time around. I tell you right now, he is not gonna get boxless. So, I mean, if he gets boxless, oh my gosh, that'd be crazy. All right, Calco with the <clears throat> fantastic RNG. Calco also had a pretty high chance of getting lucky, and it looks like Teeks is uh, opting for this. So Teeks has to hope that the Hammer Brother doesn't move right and up. If the Hammer Brother moves right and up, that's really bad for him. He loses a point. Yeah, he just lost the point, unless he knows the fire kill from this position. For anyone wondering right now, the position that Teeks is gonna fight the Hammer Brother in is a 100% fire kill. Does he know that though? Misses fireball shot causing a little extra lag. They're both in the pyramid at the same time. Calco killing it. Nobody's getting sticky hill. Teeks is doing really well. Boom, look at that, nice and good. All right. Very beautiful. Calco with the movement of one, which is, you love to see that. And Teeks is gonna have to go up and fight him. Damn, dude, hopefully he knows this kill. If he doesn't know this kill, this is going to hurt his fire kill. Let's see what he gets. If he gets a movement of two, this is gonna make it even harder. No, nope, movement of one, so he's good. All right. This is a very interesting race right now from this point. This is crazy interesting. Race number two, we're hitting up in the world three, man. Very important world. This is the perfect time. Perfect time for me to grab my Sodi Pop. <sighs> All right, I love it when they're both on the airship. That means the time difference between them is not that big. So Calco, the next point he needs to get is a 221 or higher fire kill on this boss with the in-game timer. Let's see if he gets it. All he has to do is make one mistake and he most likely won't get it. So let's see how he does. Two, four, six, eight. He's got it right there. 221, boom. He has tied it up with Teeks. They are actually both officially tied in this race, mainly due to the fact that they have not taken any damage. So let's go Teeks. Hopefully he knows this fire kill. Don't take damage. Oh man. 100%, he got three shots in. Oh, he gets flip-flopped and he does not get the points. He needed that to keep a safe lead, specifically just for this race. However, Teeks does right now have a four point lead. So Calco is officially knocked out if he loses this race, which means he should go for Jesus Clip, right? No matter the stakes. Ah, oh, he doesn't get the first frame jump. Unfortunately, you hate to see it. If this was Zikubi, half the card would be filled right now. All right, Teeks, it's your turn right now to get the first frame jump. Get that lead back in this game. Let's see if you get it. First frame jump, 3-1. Does he get it? Ah, oh, he gets it! Wow, right on, dude. Hats off the first frame jumps. He secures the lead in this race. Right here, next up is door three. Door three is gonna be the next deciding factor. Here we go, fast P speed, very difficult. Nails it, they both have done amazing in this level. Ooh, the fish was a little far away, no turnbacks, wow. He's not doing any turnbacks. He misses the pipe, that should be all right. He doesn't get the most optimal P speed. And he doesn't get the fanfare, which is good. Fanfare is a big punishment. Teeks also get, wow, man, they both have destroyed this level in both the races, man. Oh, wow, Teeks almost hit his head on that turtle. That was crazy. Holy crap. 
Falco. Killing this level. This is one of the easier levels in World 3. A, a lot of the jumps just like uh, sink right up with each other. Oh, Teak's avoiding Runaway Bro. If he got it again, that would be so annoying, man. Oh, Teeks with no way! Wow! So what happened to Teeks there is he missed his A input. He must have jumped when he was running over one of the pits and his jump didn't register because he wasn't standing on ground. That is no good. However, it's not the end of the world for him. If he gets run away though, oh man. <gasps> Did Teeks just get a coin ship? No, he's good. Okay. Ah, oh, Calco missing door three. Oh my gosh, dude. This run is so crazy. Teeks with another butt scare. With Runaway Bro, the Hammer Brothers right there. He takes damage again. Is he gonna go for door three? Does he get it? Oh, he does not get door three. It is after the first level, world three is just not working for Teeks at all right now. Holy crap, man. Just not working at all right now. Trying really hard to secure this though. All right, Calco with the water battle. Gonna cost him a little bit of time. Teeks finishing up the fortress, looking good. Boom, right in there. Oh, Teeks was scared there. Why the heck doesn't Teeks go to level four? Why doesn't he go to level four and fight that hammer brother? He could have guaranteed no runaway if he, if he did level four first. Oh my gosh. No, please no. This is what, this is what nightmares are made of you guys. Oh, please don't get run away. This is the, he's already behind by a substantial amount of time. And this would just, last race he was already past the runaway point when Calco was in 3-8. Dude, guys, keep your eyes closed and just li listen for me. Keep your eyes closed. Don't watch. Don't watch. Yes, he got it. All right, he is safe. Wow. Man, the stress, guys. And I have another, we have another match after this. Two more races after this. Uh, Haxor and Narfman. All right, this race got super hot. Now back to Calco, nailing the H jump. Calco has destroyed World 3 this run so far, making amazing work. Look at him go. Boom. Wow. This is just phenomenal right here. Hey, they both moved and entered the level at the same time. All right, so I can see Teeks going for the Wendy kill because he had already taken damage, right? Ah, oh, nice H jump by Teeks. Very nice. Right? So discuss amongst yourselves. I can see... Yeah, I don't know. I can see I can see Teeks going for the Wendy kill. He says he's practicing. We have heard him talk about how he's practicing. He does know it. And he has taken damage. Maybe his plans are if he takes damage before Wendy... He'll go for the Wendy kill, so... This is uh, pretty exciting to see what he does here. Oh, getting stuck on the nut! Getting a nut stuck right there! All right, Calco's up for the Wendy fight. I, like I said before, I don't think he's gonna go for the kill, but let's see what he does here. Nah, he's not going for the kill. Boom. Uh, Fifteen forty-one and Warpless is a pretty good. That's a pretty good world. Uh, world three time. Don't fall through the nut, Teeks. Don't fall through the nut. You can get stuck in the nut. Just don't fall through the nut. <laughs> Alright, let's see it, Teeks. 
two, four, six, eight, ten. He's not going for it. I think he might be behind in time, so he just doesn't want to risk it. He probably feels like he's behind. All right, Kalko, let's see a better four, four, one. Goes for the shot, goes for the shot. Nails it, dude. The hard, faster PSP strategy right there for Kalko. Killing it. Right on, man. That is not what he did last time in 4-1. And you'll love to see that he did it this time. Looking very, very hot right there. Oh, super hot. Looking good. Oh, moving a 4. You hate to see that. Right at the start of the world, man. That, that downs your morale a lot. All right. Do the despawn that I taught you guys last time. And good progress. Full big jump right into the pipe. All right, Teeks' turn. Is he going to go for... He's going to go for the fast P-Speed as well. He also nails it. He goes for the Zikabee style fast 4-1. Where Kalko went for something different there. So it's looking pretty good, man. These guys are killing it. Ah, there we go. There's the RNG that Kalko needs right there. Hammer Brother moving up and to the right. And all he has to do is use the hammer. I wonder since Teeks has his Fire Flower behind time, if he's going to go for the ass point. He needs to go for the ass point, ladies and gentlemen. Because Kalko's got a, a good lead. And Kalko could even have a more lead on him. Kalko can win this race. If he doesn't take damage, gets the reward, and wins the race. He can win the whole match. So... Let's see. This is going to be interesting what happens here. Good movement. All right. Oh, damn, dude. Uh, Teeks also has really good RNG here. You love to see that. Both morale boosters, man. When you see... Because you can see when World 4 is going to work out in your favor, right? When you see it work for you, you're, you're kind of happy, man. You're like, all right, I'm moving to World 5. At least in the speedruns. Ooh, Calco not... Oh, my gosh. Teeks taking that damage, too. I really hope he wasn't going for... The ass point, because if he was, that damage right there just ruined it for him. Damn, dude, that was the duck I was talking about earlier, man. You take that... Ah, oh, man, that duck jump is very precise, but you don't want to run too close to the wall. Oh, he's going to the Mushroom House. If he gets a Fire Flower, this would be hot for him. Ouch, the Mushroom. The Mushroom. He could always use the hammer. Yeah, right? Get the Fire Flower from the second fortress. Go back and do it. it the, there's nothing in the rules that says he can't do that. So instead of Mushroom House, well, I mean, he would have saved a bit of time from the Mushroom House if he got, got fire. Because, well, no, he only, he doesn't do any extra screen transitions either. So this would be interesting. I'm very excited to see what happens here. Wow, they both made really good work of 4-4 so far. And it uh, looks like Calco got really, really good music box RNG and annihilating those stairs, getting P-Speed in the fortress. Wow, man, that's really good. Calco is on something right now. Calco is definitely on something right now. Uh, he's in the zone, man. He's, he's in the zone. All right, Teeks. Oh my gosh, Teeks with the marathon and the worst. Oh, he's in boxless. I did say he wasn't gonna get boxless again. So if he gets boxless, what the heck, game? Oh, he gets the double bounce. He's gonna have to do the turn back bounce. He goes for it. He gets it. There are three Kaizo blocks in that little pit that Teeks just jumped in. So you have to worry about that. So I'm curious. I I'm gonna actually open up chat right now because I'm curious. Do you guys think Teeks is gonna go back when he gets Fire Flower and go for the ass point? can't. He can't now. After using that music box, he can't. He got screwed over. He can't. He got screwed over. Dude, he almost, he almost dry bones rubbed and took damage there. That was close. Teeks is gonna have to do a lot of work here to catch up. Okay, so he's not going to go back. He, he Teeks does need that extra 0.5 because Kalko is actually one world away. Kalko is one world away from making this work. Well, this race doesn't matter between best of two or best of three. It's for the finals. It's best of two or best of three. Let them decide on what they want to do. 
But they have to decide beforehand because they can't lose and then be like, well, best of three, because, you know. And the way that the tournament works with the points, there's always a best of three. There's always a best of three. Right? They just do three races and whoever has the most points out of the three. Alright, Calco, very scary. Secure this fire kill so you're safe. Nice fire kill. Right on. He is safe. Finals has to have a best of three. Maybe, because we are really asking the players a lot, right? We are asking them. That's that's three hours of Warpless, right? That's three hours. Uh, as long as they get no movements of four in World 5... As long as they get no moves of four in World 5, then they get point .5. It's an RNG point. There's RNG points, there's skill points, there's risk points. There's uh, time points, lots of points. All right, Kalko is in World 5 right now. This is a level where it's very possible to take damage. Very scary. Nice, it's a double shot. <gasps> what did I tell you? What? Wow, that had <laughs> that chain chop. Oh my gosh. Teeks with the hundo pattern. Oh my gosh, look at Teeks. Okay, he made it. Very scary. This just made it very hard for Calco to win. But from what I told you, it doesn't matter. Calco is behind. Calco is behind to a certain point where he should probably go for Jesus Clip no matter what. And I know that sounds crazy, but hear me out. This is the last match. This is it. Right? And he's already lost game one by four points. So unless his opponent is missing all the points and then Kalko wins the race, then and only then can he win this. So you have to start taking the risks. When when do you start taking the risks, right? That's the question. When do the risks start to take place? I can't believe that Chain Chomp nabbed Kalko like that. That was crazy. Just... Wow. I've never- oh man, I th I've had that happen to me before, I have seen that, but it's so like, when does that happen? That doesn't happen. Alright, so... No movements of 4 yet for Calco, but Calco does actually get good RNG in World 5 with the music box. Or sorry, with the P-Wing, uh, because he didn't get any, um... He didn't get the P-Wing World 4. And he hasn't got a movement of 4 yet, so he looking, he's still looking pretty good. Teeks also with the amazing coin count right now. Ah, Teeks with the movement of 4! He loses his point, unfortunately. Alright, Twisty Castle. Uh, Teeks used this music box, so... Well, Teeks has an extra music box. Oh, the Calco. The Calco's gone. The Calco with the, the internet. We gotta go over to Teeks here. It's happening again. Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to tell them to look out for Grand Pooh Bear on the Prowl. The Stomping Prowl, come on. All right, looks like his internet's clearing up a bit. Just some drop frames, it happens. Teeks, Teeks doing really well with the Twisty Castle right now. All right. Vertical pipes have not been, uh, Teeks' friend. All right, Calco. Oh my gosh, he almost released that leaf there. He almost did. Is, does Teeks think he's behind? We we really need to see Calco go for Jesus Clip here. We really, really need to see Calco go for Jesus Clip. Switching the audio back, ladies and gentlemen. We're switching it back. Looks like his internet is cleared up a little bit. 
Oh, right in. He shoots, he scores, man. Air ball. Right on, man. Right in there. So let's see what happens here. He's not going to have 88 coins. Teeks still has not got... Or no, Teeks has already gotten a movement of four. But Calco has not gotten a movement of four. Calco fought, fought the P-Wing in the bottom. So he can't get a movement of four in the bottom. Oh! Calco! What? Calco gets the award, the award for no movements of four. Crazy. No Jesus clip on Calco's side. Very interesting. Very interesting. I don't think... I don't think Teeks is gonna go. I don't think Teeks is gonna go for... Jesus clip. I highly doubt it. Yeah, he hasn't died yet. It, it wouldn't be wise. Bickin' barkin' bickin' barkin' bickin' bick bick Nice, Kalko is going to get coins here, so he does not have to worry about the coin ship. Is he gonna get fanfare though? He is not gonna get fanfare. Kalko's turnbacks for the cards, I do need to mention, are a lot bigger than the average runners. So, I feel like Kalko does lose a good amount of time uh, with his turnbacks for the card. Right on. Teeks just getting all the movements of four here, man. This game is not cooperating with the uh, movements of four in this world for him. You hate to see it, man. You hate to see it. All right, so Kalko should be lined up for a nice um, fire kill on the boss. Where Teeks, not so much. He just got a movement of four, which means he's either going to get a movement of four here or a movement of two. That was a movement of two. So, Teeks has claimed that he does know this fire kill. But again, he's probably not risking it. He could risk it, though, because he has nothing to lose with damage. And uh, let me just remind both, let me remind all of you guys that both of them have actually taken their original power of damage, so they are not getting the three point reward here. Look at the tie up in points right now, but Teek still has a four point lead right now. No off screen wand grab from any of them yet. You wanna you wanna see some off-screen wand grabs here? A couple of attempts. I mean, we watched Zikubi go for a one. Uh, he, we watched him go for an off-screen wand grab, and he like didn't have faith that it was gonna work, and he ended up wall jumping. But because he didn't do a full jump, he didn't jump high enough to get up there. Had he had he held jump, he would have, and he probably would be in the semifinals right now because of it. So off-screen wand grab is very important. It's so important that I'm going to keep leaving it in the seasons until people start doing it. That's how important it is. All right, Teeks is going for the fire kill. This is a setup. Wow, he knows his setups. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Calco making good work. Smashing blocks. No marathon this time, he's gotta be happy about that. No marathon, he's gotta be happy. Blink. Blink. Nice jump, he made it though. All right, this is where he died last time. Can he jump over the death waffle? That's why I don't do that big jump like that. That's why I jump on top of the block, but... Hey man, it's whatever you're comfortable with, right? There's no wrong way of doing it the right way, if that makes any sense. As long as you finish in the same time as everyone else, it's, it's the same, you know? It's looking good. All right, now Teeks' turn. I will say, though, this fortress is a very scary fortress in speedruns. Very scary. All right, Teeks' turn. He's looking pretty good. He's confident. He's ready to go. Kalko not going to get the early P speed. Going to give Teeks a second. Okay. 
Kalka with the 99 coins. Oh, and getting the bad luck star in world six. Wow, that's unfortunate. Okay, now listen guys. Listen, Kalko is going to get two bricks in this level. So he is going to have nine, not, he's gonna have coin ship right here. Right, he breaks two bricks right here. So is he gonna get coin ship? Oh my gosh, is he gonna get it? Odds change, evens don't. So if it's an even time, Oh, he got s Wow! <laughs> that was so close, man. He knows this stuff, though. He knows this stuff. That was scary, man. I don't care what anyone says. That was scary. All right, Teeks' turn. Ah, <laughs> Teeks, look at Teeks. He's one coin off, actually. All right, they both made really good work with that level. Really, really good job, both of them. All right, no more coin ships left for Calco, so he doesn't care. All right, get through. Teeks. Ooh, is Teeks gonna get good RNG here? Hopefully. All right, let's see what happens to Teeks. He has a very high chance to get lucky, but a high chance of Mario 3 means low chance, and he got lucky. <sighs> Don't use a cloud by accident, Teeks. That's gonna suck. Nice, Teeks has made that mistake before. He knows his backup. Kalko doing 6-8. If, if anything, like last time, Kalko's not gonna go for the wall jump here. Let's see what he does. If, when you see a player take damage intentionally in this level, you know he's gonna go for the wall jump. All right, no wall jump. Let's see what Teeks does. Does he go for the sub-pixel manipulation? Let's find out. He does another hit, does another hit. I don't think so. I think he might not be going for the manip, but I think he might be going for the movement. All right, Kalko using that. Okay, let's see what he does here. No star, obviously, I guess. All right, so P-Speed. He's gonna have to go for a turn back on the card. All right, here we go. Does Teeks get first try wall jump? All right, Kalko, here we go, man. Come on, get the fort clip. Here we go. Oh, Kalko does not get it, but does Teeks get first try wall jump? Ah, Teeks got first try wall jump! Congratulations, Teeks! You gotta feel good about that, man. You gotta feel good about that. That is incredible. Right on. All right, it's Teeks' turn. It looks like Teeks is probably gonna go for the power up here, which is a good idea. Yeah, like I said before, it's crazy how this power-up turned into the meta, like, halfway through the tournament. Gotta activate it. Ooh, watch out. Get P-Speed again. Don't, don't miss. Ah, oh, he misses it. Not at all what he wanted to do. Not at all. However, Teeks was behind last time and caught up in World 7, so let's see how this goes. All right, they are both on the airship now and I have chat open. What's going on, chat? Uh, yeah, they know how they did in race one. Yeah, they know how they did. That's why I'm saying Kalko knows he's four, he's four points behind at the start of this race. He definitely should have gone for Jesus Clip. Will Teek skip 7-7? Seven, seven? I don't know. Kalko got screwed over by 7-7 last time. Yo, Rick, what's going on? Kalko did take damage before the 6-4. Yes, he took damage on 5-1, the Chain Chomp, remember? Uh, Teeks' first damage was in 3-3 with the Cheap Cheap while he tried to run over, he tried to jump over the hole. All right, here we go. Is Kalko gonna go for the sub-pixel manipulation? I can guarantee it. Let's see if he moves one pixel to the right. That was not a pixel to the right. So it seems like, it seems like these runners are either not having good uh, D-pad inputs or are still in the confused phase 
of moving one input, one pixel to the right as opposed to your feet moving. So Calco tried to move one pixel to the right where his Mario's feet moved, but he didn't move a pixel, his feet moved sub-pixels. So Mario can still move, but he's not moving in his position. He hasn't changed his position. All right, Teeks' turn. Is he gonna go for the sub-pixel manipulation? Hold on though, we gotta get the points. Here we go, Calco, first try, 7-1. Oh, he does not get it! Teeks, I did not get a chance to see the setup because I had to watch for Calco's sub picks. He is not in 7 1 yet, not working. Oh, he finally gets it, just as I was about to say. Not working out exactly how he wanted, but it's still looking really, really hot. Looking good, guys, looking good. All right, here we go. Teeks, not only a chance to get more points and secure that finals match. But, but, also an extra point here. Calco using the P-Wing, very good choice. I always love it. All right, first try, here we go. Fingers on the trigger. Oh, the sub-pixel manipulation failed him. Teeks' jump was correct. Both of Teeks' jumps were correct, but the, the sub-pixel manipulation was uh, not good. Not getting in that wall right now. Oh, he's changing back to the duck jumps. Every time you rub up against the wall like that, you miss an opera. Oh, he gets it! All right! Thank God, it's so good to not see him stuck in there. Uh, I do think Calco is actually going to go for... Calco is going to go for seven... 7-7 seven, seven for sure. He needs the points. Although he's, he's he's a little low on points this race. He's, he has not generated. Like, he should have gone for the ass point, right? He should have tried. He should have gone for Jesus Clip. So, here's my thought process. He's behind a certain amount of points where if he doesn't go for points, he loses. So, not going for points is just guaranteeing your loss anyways. So, if you go for Jesus Clip and you miss it and you die, you get thrown back a bunch of points. The only other alternative is to hope that your opponent loses so many points in the race number two that you actually win by their mistake. So instead of instead of making good decisions, you hope that you hope that your opponent fails so that you can succeed instead of you succeeding on your own. So there's so many different strategies. Oh, he does not get a first try. Damn, you hate to see it. Um, but yeah, we don't know what our players mentalities are because we haven't asked them so these are just my own assumptions on how different ways uh, the players could p play based on the situations they're in so we watched Teeks single-handedly take the lead with 7-7 is that going to happen again world 7 unfortunately is not working out at all for either of them uh, but that's okay man it's the clip sometimes Sometimes it doesn't work out the way you want. And he's going for the 7-7. Seven, seven. All right. If he gets this first try, this will be an incredible... <sighs> that was so close, you guys. That was so close, too. Holy crap. That was not close. That was close. Three jumps out of four were very close. Five! Holy crap. That was one pixel off. That, was, that wasn't a close jump. That was... Oh, my gosh, dude. These jumps are, like, perfect. That was a little overshoot. Ah, oh, come on, Teeks. So close to first try. Gets it second try, though. This looks like Teeks, the ultimate catcher-upper, man. The ultimate 7 one -er catcher-upper. Absolutely incredible. Holy crap. It's happening again. It's happening again. Deja vu right now. He goes for it. Oh, man. Here we go. This is a 7-7 battle. Get out of here. It's an epic mind battle. You love to see 7-7 battles. No words can describe what's happening. This is just how... Oh, Teeks almost gets it. Calco running out of time again.
I will say though guys sometimes in this tournament 7-7 seven, seven is not the right thing to go for if if Calco was would have assumed that Teeks was gonna go for it like if Calco said to himself hey I think Teeks is gonna go for it um, so I'm not gonna go for it so if it takes Teeks two minutes I can secure the lead and the win right everyone thinks that 7-7 seven, seven is like oh go for it right it's a free point but it's it, it, sometimes it's not And this is just not... That's two times now that, that Calco is gonna have to concede, yep. This is Teeks' chance, too. Oh man, 7-7, seven, seven, I tell you guys. I've said it once, I'll say it again, man. 7-7 seven, seven isn't always the meta. Oh my gosh. How long will he go for? How much time left on the timer can they stall for? It's, what sucks about 7-7 seven, seven, it is it, it actually gets harder and harder. Alright, Calco getting first try clip. Alright, here we go. Calco with the points here. Teeks does not want to give in to this. When does he give in? We just need Calco to get clip number two before this gets intense. Get out of there, Teeks! Get out of there, Teeks! All right, here we go, Calco. Oh, he doesn't get it either. Oh my gosh, Teeks. This is incredible. Look at this. Run! Run! Nine seconds! There's no way he makes this. There's no way. He's got to he's got to hold forward the whole time here. No! No, he lost his pace speed. He died. No, he didn't. Wow! <laughs> what? 1 second left on the timer. Holy crap, I've never seen that before. That is incredible. Wow. What a cheeky little bugger right there. Oh no, Calco takes the death. Why, oh, why doesn't he skip this level? Calco takes the death, and I think that's very possible that could have secured Teeks' win. We'll see. All right, Teeks is going to go for third and fourth. First try clip. This level, this level is not meta for this, this season. Not even close. Oh, he gets the first one. Oh, he doesn't get the second one. That's two times in a row for Teeks. Ooh, Calco taking another death right there. Ouch. You hate to see it, man. You hate to see it. Calco does not get the, uh, the Fire Flower point there as well. Ah, oh, that was right at the end of the level too, man. That was right at the end of the level. Oh, n what? I think he's trying to side jump on him. That's another 0.5 lost. Ouch. All right, it looks like Narfman and the Haxer are ready. So we are ready to go right after this. We'll see how the uh, rest of this world concludes. Do, do, do. Just remember guys, to qualify in these point system tournament matches, all you need to do is get under one hour in Warpless. If you get under one hour in Warpless, you can sign up and join this point system tournament. Have your chance at winning a cash prize for playing Super Mario Bros. 3. Music box time. Next season will be sometime in October and November, so you guys have lots of time to practice. Sub one hour with a little bit of practice actually isn't that hard. Somebody has proven that you can get under one hour without P-Speed strategies. Somebody proved it. I can't remember who it was, but somebody somebody did a run that was under one hour um, without using any uh, high-tech P-Speed strategies or anything. Yeah, iBooba did it. That's right. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, we're on the airship. We can open up chat. What's going on, chatters? How you guys doing? Are you enjoying the race? All right, Teeks go with the fire kill, not taking damage, which is really important for him. Nice, dude. He actually almost took damage there. That was very close. We do not want Teeks to take any damage. Being as we are on some auto scrollers, I can leave the chat open for a little bit longer. What up, Runwise? Hi, Daddy Mitch. This race is better than watching a romantic comedy. Hey, yeah, guys, how do you feel about that Teeks timer there? Teeks audio? Ah, I would do Teeks audios, but Calco's audio is better. I mean, I don't, I don't really care. We can switch to Teeks if you guys want, but... Calco's audio is better. But whatever. Boom, looking good. Is that is that what he did? He entered the pipe at seven at seventeen seconds left, he entered the pipe, and that was enough time to beat the level. And he even messed up. You could probably do it at sixteen seconds. No, I would never make a point finish a, a level with a one on the timer. That'd be so silly. That'd be such a silly point. I keep track of everything. Alright, does Teeks get Wrangless? Come on, buddy! Ah, oh, he gets Wrangless! Right on, man! Congratulations to Teeks for getting that Wrangless. That's sick, man. Wrangless is dope, man. That's a nice point. Right on. He's got to feel good about that one right there after that 7-7 seven, seven he had. He probably thinks he's very far behind right now. However, Kalko has died after he got his last power-up in World 7, so getting the power-up on the airship in World 7 is a no-go strategy. That is not how you get your points at all. Ooh, baby, going for those stretches. Ah, feels good. Feels good, man. Alright, Calco's turn. Calco needs these for average points if he joins Season 2. Remember, even if you're losing or if you're winning, points will have a very large role. Oh, so close. In your seasons to come. Alright, looks like Teeks is going to be the first one up on the hands. This is very exciting. Someone's got to get no hands. How many people have gotten no hands in this tournament match so far, guys? I think only two no hands so far. All right, here we go. Teeks is the no hand master. Let's see if he gets no hands. If he gets hands, I'm going to be surprised. He must be cheating. <laughs> And number one, the worst, man. This is the one you don't want to see at all. But uh, with Fire Flower, it is actually faster than Hammer. Just by a little bit, not too much. 99.9% .9 chance of getting pulled in by the first hand.
It is always ooh, hand number one and hand number three. Calco, uh, there's still chance. I mean, there's still a very small chance for Calco. If Calco gets no hands, that'll be a uh, pretty pog on his part. Whoa, whoa, very close to that guy. Take a sip of my sip. Take a sip of my sodi pop. Right, if Kalko gets no hands here, he will be in the lead because he still has his cloud. So let's see. 99.9% .9 chance. Kalko could have won this race if he got no hands. That's crazy. Maybe if he gets no hands here, he still has a chance. I take it back. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and not say anything. Maybe he's gonna get all three hands. There you go. As soon as Teeks leaves this airship, Kalko enters it. So Teeks still has his original power up. Teeks did get Wrangless, but he did not get no hands. So the only points left is original power up and the uh, castle clip. Ooh, making stinky work of this level. That's a really good job, man. Nice. Destroyed it. De Destroyed. I think Kalko can still actually take this. It all depends on what happens next. You have to remember, Kalko gets to skip the uh, the last fortress. Teex is too strong right now, though. Teex is just doing all the peace speed strategies. Right, yeah, so Teeks has to do this. So let's see what happens here. This fortress is really long for Teeks. All right. All right. Hey man, this is pretty close if you ask me. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but that's pretty close, man. That's really freaking close. <laughs> Look at all those stars in there. Dude, if Teeks loses his Fire Flower, Calco can win this race. That's all it'll take. That's all it takes. That's so funny. Watch watch the tank go away on Teeks' side, and then it looks like it feeds into Calco's. <laughs> that looks so funny. It looks so silly. Dude, this is a very close race, man. This is a very close race. Look at how close they are, man. If Teeks messes up anything. All right, elevator clip right here. Elevator clip on Teeks' side. Does he get it? He's definitely gonna go for it. He does not get it. That is the yikers, the ouchers.
All right, Calco, do you, does Calco get it? Oh, dude, the P-Speed just baited him so hard. That sucks. It is what it is, though. It happens. Here goes Teeks. Again, it's very possible to take damage. Mess up on Bowser. Oh, missed the fireball. Bowser's jumping up. Done. GG to both of them. Holy crap. All right, Teeks' time is officially 57. Nice job, Calc, over that Bowser kill. 57.03. Teeks with first and sub 60 and original power up 7.5. Calco's time is officially 57.10. Oh, look, 57.11.69. That's hilarious. And he gets second place and sub 60. That's it. Right? Teeks. Teeks did first place, original power up, and Wrangless, and that was it. Yo, oh, man, so what does is, what is Calco have in terms of points? Calco has eight total points. And Teeks has... 17.5 8 to 17.5 GG you guys well played Oh god, dude, that 7-7 seven, seven of Teeks was incredible. Alright, well, there's nothing left for me to do, but pretty much just start her back up again. Back to game one.